What's up, guys? Thanks for taking a little time to spend a little time with me. Definitely appreciate that. Just got something quick I want to talk about here, guys. As you can see, the Madden Challenge, you know, reaction. Just going to give my reaction to the championship game and the challenge overall. First and foremost, let me say this. A couple things I definitely want to say. You know, I had a guy tell me that um, I shouldn't be watching it because I'm a sim player. You know, you shouldn't be watching. What are you watching it for? Well, it's just like I said on that radio show tonight. I guess I can't watch the first 48 anymore because I'm not a murderer. I'm not a killer. So I guess I'm unable to watch the first 48. That makes no sense to me. I've always said I never had a problem with the way people play. It's actually a little bit entertaining watching these guys play, just watching them go head to head. I like watching competition. I like being competitive. So even though I don't play that way, it doesn't eliminate me from being able to watch. All right, and then the second thing I want to talk about is it is definitely different. You know, it's definitely different. You know, guys run the same plays a lot. It is what it is. You know, the inside zone seems to be the money play that everyone runs as far as the run play. And then, you know, guys do different things with their motion and hiking the ball before the guy is setting. Just different things. But well, let's just keep it honest for a minute. These guys are playing for money. What would you do if money was on the line? Now, I think the perfect solution would be, you know, of course, have different arenas for different people. Maybe you have a simulation mode and you allow sim style players to want to be more, you know, strategic and hardcore and more types of rules and things like that. And then maybe you have a tournament style as well where guys play it the way they do currently now. And like I said, I don't have any beef with these individuals. That's how they want to play. I can't tell somebody how they want to play a game. Also, these guys are younger guys that are fortunate enough to make money playing a video game. Now, I'm not saying they're young like that, but you know, just looking at Serious Mo and um, Skimbo, you know, uh, the guy said that they were, I can't remember which is which, but you know, one of them was 21, one is 24. It's so relatively, you know, relatively young guys, and they're making money off a of video game. So, how can you be mad at that? Like, I can't hate on that. I can't look at those guys and be like, oh, I don't like the way you play, da 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 da. But my man just won 10, I mean, 20,000 tonight. The other guy won 10,000. How can I be mad at those guys or force them to play a certain way because I'm a sim player? I'm a sim style player. I like football. You know, I like the elements of the game tonight where there were overthrows. And some people I saw in the chat was like, oh, you got 20,000 on the line and there's an overthrow. That's BS. No, that's actually real football. It happens. You have a playoff berth on the line. You throw an interception. You overthrow it, whatever the case. It happens. It's real football. But like I said, there's a place for everything. You know, different arenas. Maybe in those type of situations, you have it set up to where there's no overthrow, what have you. And, and you know, maybe you have another arena for a hardcore sim player. So I'm thinking maybe they should do something like that as well. Just in case, you know, like my buddy Azur Effect said earlier tonight on our radio show, he was saying he would love to be able to play competitively for money with more sim principles and sim rules. That could be an idea as well. So all in all, man, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think there's any problem with the me watching it or anybody who wants to watch it or anybody who plays the way they want to play. At the end of the day, I definitely just want to see the game represent football. You know, that's my preference. I'd rather see competitive play and it's really a simulation. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like you really have to out coach your opponent or matchups really matter and things like that. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not like, you know, certain receivers don't match up well against certain defenders in Madden and things like that. But you guys know what I'm saying. You know, the more hardcore based style of play, it would be great to have something like that. And like I said, it's just my preference. But I enjoy watching the Madden Challenge. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, I tip a hat to those guys. I mean, they obviously they lab and they do certain things to find out what works and what doesn't work. It is what it is. So you can't be mad at these people. I just don't understand why there's so much fuss about what somebody else is doing. I'm looking at the chat and people are in there complaining and bashing the way they play and all that. Yeah, but you watching. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're watching. So like me, I'd watch, but I wasn't bashing anybody. I would ask questions. I'd be like, oh, I don't understand why he didn't you know, use his timeouts there. Where's the clock management? Stuff like that. But I don't bash anybody for the way they play. 
I just prefer a game to be more authentic and more sim, but I cannot be mad at these guys. And in some cases, younger kids at 21, I'm not 21 anymore. I cannot be mad at the 21 year old winning and getting money for playing that. You know, did you have $20,000 in your pocket when you was 21? Not a whole lot of you did. So it is what it is. But that's just my reaction to it, man. It's just a little different. It's a lot different from the way I play. It was interesting to see that. And that's part of the reason why I watched. You know, just to see how these guys really get down. Because I've never gone to an actual challenge in person. But I just wanted to see as well as a sim guy and as a game changer, it also benefits me to see the things that are wrong in the game that are really being exploited because I don't often see it in the games that I play with sim-like players. So know what, you know what types of things we definitely need to focus on. So there it is, man. That was just my reaction. I think having competitive Madden back is good for that crowd. You know, I can't alienate those guys either. So. It is what it is. So bottom line, maybe have options for everybody, sim players, attorney players alike. And the other bottom line is stop worrying about what other people are doing. Don't be mad at somebody for playing the game the way they want to play. And you can't hate on anybody getting that cash <laughs> off a video game. So all right, man, that's all I got. Definitely leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Don't be afraid to hit that like button and let me know what you think. Peace. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Effect. The call-in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, lights out.